In Jakarta's congested urban sprawl, going to work, visiting a friend, or going shopping can be a time-consuming and tiring task. But near a two-kilometer stretch of unused railway tracks in the slums, some creative entrepreneurial people have come together. They push trolleys made of scrap metal and wood along the tracks, carrying people and their goods to destinations. Pushing the trolley helps me earn some money to help my parents and to eat. I can earn up to 178,000 rupiah a day, but yesterday I made 70,000 rupiah. That translates into earnings between 5 and 13 U.S. dollars per day for pushing the alternative transport, which have become known as lorry. There are about five to six lorries in operation, and the pushers take shifts and negotiate prices with customers depending on how far and how heavy the trip is. While the lorry are giving some a way to earn a wage, for Indonesia's public railway operator, PT Kai, the trolley business is an unwelcome development. Hal ini memang kami tetap melarang sebetulnya, tetap melarang. Kenapa kok kami larang? Karena memang we are prohibiting such activities taking place. Why? Because the railway tracks need to be free, although there are no operational activities taking place there. If we let this kind of thing happen, there will be more and more people that would join and imitate them, and that is very, very dangerous indeed. But on the tracks, there's little sign of anyone trying to prevent the trolleys from getting to their destinations, which, in a city as densely populated as Jakarta, is a major challenge.